you know, you are uh, fairly or unfairly most famous for one four letter word, uh, that of a blob. Um, uh, uh, what is the blob that you are reacting to in the early years of the Obama administration? When you and Barack Obama came to Washington DC in 2008, what was sort of the state of a foreign policy establishment in the United States and what did you feel was wrong with it at the time? Well, I, I think for me, uh... It actually kind of all starts with the Iraq War because uh, I moved to Washington to be involved in American foreign policy in 2002. Um, and that was very much the kind of peak of the post 9-11 impulse of the United States around the world. And as a young person, a 24, 25 year old working at a think tank, you know, I kind of watched this herd mentality um, rush to support the war in Iraq. Some people had a very you know, earnest views that it was the right thing to do. But I also kind of noticed some people just didn't want to be left off the train, you know, and I I kind of resisted that for a while, but I got to a point where I almost felt kind of worn down. I remember when Colin Powell gave his presentation at the UN, kind of thinking to myself, well, I'm not sure about this war, but if all these people are saying this is what we absolutely must do, they must know something I don't. And and so my my formative years kind of taught me that maybe the the people in charge don't know something that I don't. And, and and Obama had basically differentiated himself as a politician because of his opposition to the war in Iraq. And I think what people forget is that 08 primary with Hillary was very much about foreign policy. Like the core contrast that he drew with Hillary was support for the war in Iraq versus his opposition. So I, I, I give that context because there always was a vein of, uh, of Obama's foreign policy that was formed in criticism of an opposition to the war in Iraq. And I think when I use that phrase, the blob, it was later in the Obama administration, I was referring to a similar kind of group thing that I saw that both, I think, overstated the capacity of the United States to shape events inside of other countries, particularly in the Middle East, that was often reflexively interventionist without necessarily considering the consequences of, of interventions. Um, and, and frankly, I was frustrated at that point you know, that it was harder to build support in a way for a diplomatic agreement with Iran than it was to take this country to war in Iraq, you know. And so if you wrap it all up, you know, groupthink, interventionism, failure to reckon with the lessons of Iraq, that's kind of what I was talking about. I mean, Bob obviously relates to groupthink, um, but that's the groupthink I was speaking to. And since then, I think some people who might see themselves as a part of that will say, well, you know, I was criticizing the, the liberal order. No, I, I'm all for the liberal order. I was criticizing a very particular but predominant post 9-11 strain of American foreign policy.